Hello everybody and welcome to the Productivity Music Video Documentary. I'm Steve Sokla and these five gentlemen here are my tech guys. We got Colton, Nathan, and Ian, three of my best friends. I roped them into doing this project with me because I didn't have the skills that they had. Do you guys have any regrets? Yes. yes. Today I'm going to talk to you about one song I wrote in particular called Productivity. Now productivity is a concept that can apply to everybody. Everyone feels productive, right? Everyone thinks they're the most hard worker on the planet at times. Get off your booties, gentlemen! We got a music video to film! Most of the time, people think they're a little lazier than they are, I like to believe. So gentlemen, what is it like being friends with Steve Solkla? Well, so far, it's been quite interesting. I have, <laughs> I have set him on fire four times. <laughs> I have hit him in the face with a guitar, with a chair, I have dumped him off the roof of a building, and I've also had him fall 30 feet from a tree, so... I've always considered myself one that can get off his booty real quick and get addicted to tasks. There's three things to worry about. The ambition to start a task, the creativity and the ability to get addicted to a task and, come, and troubleshoot and finish it. And the third one, of course, is the following through and making sure that something's done right. Steve has what we like to call honorary grandchildren. Uh, that being uh, us three uh, amigos. The best way to compare it is Steve's only in his 20s, but he has the misunderstanding of technology of a 75 year old. So, guys, what's it like working for Steve? Steve has oh a boss. He's a Productivity is a project we started a couple years ago. I actually wrote a lot of the lyrics while I was at work. I'd be at the Arby's in Virginia, Minnesota where I worked at, and in between customers, I'd be jotting down lyrics on the back of the receipt. And sometimes I would actually go and watch other people work. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, for example, she was a barista down in Duluth, and uh, I'd be waiting for her to get done with her shift while I'm writing some lyrics of the Productivity song. I live every day of my life like a tube of toothpaste. You know, some people might throw it away when there's still a little bit left, you know? But I like to put it in a friggin' vice grips, you know, put it with all my grip, do everything I can to get every last little drop out of that tube of toothpaste. I don't like to waste even a minute of my day. Every blink, I want it to either be productive or fun or enjoyable, just the way that life is supposed to be, you know? I don't want to be the one on my deathbed that says, I did an awful lot of sitting on my booty, doing nothing. That's kind of the, the takeaway I want people to get from the productivity music video. When you watch the music video, or you hear the song, I want you guys to feel like you're getting every last drop of that toothpaste out of that tube. I wrote this song with one simple goal. The goal of getting people off of their ass. As human beings, you know, they're very swayed by emotion, and music, of course, is a vehicle for emotion. If it's happy, music would make people smile. If it's sad, it could make people cry, of course. Lullabies oftentimes put people to sleep. The productivity song wakes people up. Without further ado, let's get to the productivity music video.